All right, sports fans. Good morning, Wiz. He just shaking to death. Uh, all right, guys, good morning. We are on the river. What, buddy? Do you call? We can't bring the cover up. Uh, we are on the river, guys. We spent uh, a week ago. We had a week of good weather, and I should have been fishing, but we had to redo the whole back end of my little boat. We had to redo the transom on it, man. It was just dire need. I had water leaks, and my feet was getting wet. And, uh, man, it had to be done. It was rotten. So, um, it was either wait all winter and fix the big boat spring or spend a little bit and get this one going. And We fish through this through the winter now, so at least do a little bit of fishing. So, what we did was we uh, jumped in our freezer and grabbed our last three buckets of bait. And it's getting ready to start turning cold. We've got uh, weather in Oklahoma goes up and down. Um, we've got three days of good weather. Yet Monday, yesterday, and today, today's a Wednesday. Uh, tomorrow, I think, and then Friday, Saturday, Sunday, it starts cooling back off. So we made it to the river, and we're going to throw some jugs out today. We're going to see how it goes. I got a throw net, and I've got a little uh, lightweight jigging rod here. We've got a we're down the river from where was that last time we've got a little nook here that goes up in here and it's averages i think eight to ten foot something like that and i'm not for sure i got lost and went back up in there one night and uh but it was late at night and like i said i was lost so we're back down here, and here's the main river out here, guys. So we're going to get up on this other side, and I think there's some good deep water down through here. So we're going to get out through here and uh, set these jugs for you guys. And we kind of wait and let the sun get up a little bit, and it's kind of getting nice now. So um, thanks to all of my subscribers. You guys kind of stopped at 147. I've been having anxiety attacks. That's odd number, y'all. Y'all, it's odd numbers. Uh, thanks to all y'all's nice comments uh, and uh, comp compliments also. Guys, I really, really do appreciate it, man. Uh, man, I really do. It's humbling. I'm, I don't I don't know what to say, but I, all I can say is thank you. Uh, and I'm going to say, sports fans, you guys like it, one of the comments. Down there in Red Oak, that does kind of fit, don't it? So we're going to keep saying sports fans, guys and gals. We might say boys and girls, but uh, yeah, sports fans it is. Man, we got a bunch of shed. They go clump of something there, just a little my bait fish and then a clump must be right up under me i hope that's shad because i'll come back up in here and set and let that happen again that happens i'll go throw in my throw net so all right guys i got my jugs out getting my hooks sorted i thought i'd do a short intro here so uh let us get gathered up and me and old wiz will see what we can pull out of the river today Stay tuned. Eat, eat some dog food. Eat some dog food and you can have a treat. Go eat some dog food. Give me, give me two more dog foods and you can have a treat. Go eat two more. Hey, you go get one more. Go eat one more. No, don't get your bone. Go eat one more dog food. Hey, wizard, you're messing this up. Hey, go eat one more dog food. Go eat one more dog food. 
That a boy. All right, now you can have a treat. Like always, I usually set the first three. This is going to be the last two, last three. I've got these part up on that side. Uh, three, four, five. Five or six left. We've got kind of. kind of shallow on that other side so we jumped across to see what it was going to look like and it got deeper over here and actually there's a bank y'all can see there's a bank right there and it's just almost straight up and down it stays 22 23 24 25 foot right up close because uh, as y'all know if y'all haven't watched I have to keep them out of the way of these barges down through here I have to keep them over on the side and uh, I usually string mine out but we've got them kind of close sitting here close and reason is being uh, I've gotten the mine right here with them it's at I want to uh what we is this is where i want to rod fish so i'm gonna set all these jokes through here and see how they bite and see what we do and uh and then i can figure out either i'll rod fish here tonight or i'll go on up by the port and uh rod fish that big deep hole and guys our crappie are still froze they're still on ice they're still froze but it don't take long for them to freeze out and get slushy, so, I mean, you can't get much fresher than that, I don't think. So, that's a 22. Afternoon and evening at night time. <laughs> so I was wanting to do the early morning, and we didn't get, we laid down about two and a half hours this morning. We made it to the boat ramp about three, two o'clock. Two o'clock this morning, we laid down for a little bit. Wiz didn't get much sleep. He's getting cranky. What? You got him a bone. So anyway, guys, uh, we're kind of setting these here. Like I said, by this point, and see if they do. If they don't, we're going to go back up and fish this other 30-foot hole. That's back up here tonight and see what they do. Uh, real quick, Guys, gals, uh, I'm going to start doing all my videos. Uh, I got two pieces of bait. I am going to do them other two jugs. I'm going to start doing the barometer, guys. Uh, that last fishing trip, let y'all know if we catch anything, if this gets out, man, there's a bunch of shad right here plopping. Uh, if this gets out, my last video, that first day, that afternoon, I watched the weather that night when I got home after that trip, 
and a low pressure had come in. I guess low air pressure, low barometer had come in. And that was it was a high pressure. And right after that's when they stopped biting. So uh, I'm going to see how much this barometer <coughs> has to affect the fish. And I know a weatherman, my neighbor, <coughs> he's a storm chaser. And uh, I called and asked him, and he, his boy fishes competitively because they're, they're fishermen. And he was telling me below 30, 29, 29, 5, 29, 28 is when they bite the best. Now, you guys can leave a comment. Uh, my wind's starting to kick up here a little bit. But I've always been told when the barometer is rising, they bite the best. I had a buddy of mine <coughs> that is a very good fisherman he told me that he always heard when the barometer was falling. So, uh, we're going to start keeping a check on it and see. And he said anything above 30, 31 up in there, they didn't, they got lazy, what he called it. Not very active. So anyhow. In my, in my, Somewhere in my deal, in my description, I'll do some magic and we'll put it right out here what the barometer is. So we'll start doing that on our videos for you guys and we're going to see, we're going to learn. This is a learning deal for me to learn it and I'm just bringing y'all along with me. So let's get this last jug in and. Guys, there's two for you. Uh, I got two more fish made. I think I've got three jugs left, and they was 26, 25. And actually, since I'm in this deep water, here, I can go ahead and set them. So, let me put y'all on pause. And uh, man, a great day out here, guys. It's gonna be beautiful. I'm gonna start. I've done shedding my vest. We're gonna shed our coveralls and. I think I could take my hat off. So, uh, guys, it's going to be a beautiful day. I found me a tree up here, too. We're going to do some crappie fishing here just shortly. So, stay tuned, guys. I hope we can catch some fish. All right, it's more expands. That looks like that's a bobbing a little bit. We've got one over here. We set one jug. One jug over here by itself on this one side. And uh, we just now got them all set. Took a break there. Come out of that cove. We're getting ready to run them real quick. And uh, this one single one over here, we got fish on it. So, let's go get it. This video is going to get out. Yeehaw, we're going to catch the fish today. Yeehaw, yeehaw, yeehaw. Yeehaw, yeehaw, yeehaw. Ah, ah, ah. Wiz is looking at me like real funny. Like, man, what are you? 
down. This way, this was packing that jug down, guys. This might be a good one. This might be a good one. Should be up to that. Alrighty. We're fishing on the river. Man, I have got to. We probably ain't gonna have enough bait to fish late tonight. Guys, I gotta take some of these home. Boy, and he's just, no, he's hooked. He's hooked. Boy, barely, he didn't come plumb through. I hope y'all can see that. It didn't come flying through, but it got him missed inside of us. I was getting ready to get the pliers and it came right out. All right, guys. Nice little blues for the day. That's a starter. We might have a one fish video. Guys, I've got to take some fish home. Uh, I've got to supply some people with some fish and do a giveaway, so. Since we're not going to stay all night, tonight and tomorrow, I can put these on the deal and play them late this evening and take some home. So, let me, uh, All right, guys, put y'all on pause. Y'all don't have to watch me do that. I'll be right back. All right, sporty fans. I had forgot about it. I was getting ready to run down that crest up. I remember this other one over here. And it's, actually, I got to look for it. And I see that here is more to fill the lake. So those are the little ones on the easier I'm not going to drop down. We can just get a drop your head out. We'll run over here and grab him real quick. This is looking good.
stay on it. Another sports page. There we go. And that one there come out of 23 foot of water. He was off on the other side. Crossed, crossed one and just caught. So, anyhow, those two. I'll be enough we can we can bless a couple of people with some catfish dinners. I've been saying I've been wanting to do that for a long time and I just ain't done it. Too damn lazy to clean them. Ha ha. Ha ha. Telling up on myself. But All right, everybody. Let's go check the rest of them. There might be, we might have a couple more. All right, sports fans. We are for a little while. We're gonna drift. Nothing biting. We had those two. Wind is just right for it. So I've got one rod, I brought two rods. I've got one rod, Carolina Red, and I got another one set up like I got my jug set up where so I can bounce off the bottom. So I don't know whether to use a that head there is pretty big. I'm gonna use a body section which has got a little bit of guts in it there.
said, Heron, guys, we'll drift down too, Heron. This is my trolling motor to keep me out in the middle until somebody comes by to run me over. Thirsty? Get you a drink. Get you a drink, you thirsty? Stick your head in there. That a boy. That a boy, get you some. We'll get you some. Daddy uh, make some? Oh, they ain't not either. Okay, Dave. Um, all right, Dave. Okay. Okay, Dave, make some pizza. He's like, there ain't nothing in there, man. You got to make some, stupid. Kool-Aid. a boy. Cool. Even though even though I fixed the back of the boat, there's still a little bit of water in the bottom, and he started licking the bottom there. Let me know that's what he—that's what he meant was thirsty. I cut all this. Edit. All right, sports fans. I was watching this jug up there a while ago from a quarter of a mile away. It looked like it had a fish on it. Now I've been sitting here watching it, and it still looks like it's got something on it. I don't know. Probably not, but I am going to turn the camera on. Just for shits and giggles. Yeah, 
Hang up in these trees or not, I'm pulling them out. Catch him more. This is big enough. To, oh, he's all wrapped up. That's why he wasn't going anywhere. He knows he's loose now. This is nice. Oh, yeah. Come on in here, big boy. What do you see there, Wiz? Big old fish. <laughs> She's got me. Oh, oh. Oh. oh this fish is going to kill me. Mm. Had my thumb and went to twist on my bad knuckle. All right, guys. <laughs> Stay tuned. Y'all don't need to see this fish kill me. I'll be right back. So 
I'll do the last one here with y'all and say thanks for all of my subscribers, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, that was all of my frozen bait. Our next trip's going to be some creek fishing. Uh, going to be some creek fishing. And uh, we might go back to the... We might go back to the lake and try for some crappie. Um, I've got a couple places I want to try for skipjack and a couple of videos like that. So I got to go back to looking for some bait for a while. That's why I grabbed up what I had. So I'll just go to the river and burn that up and see what we can catch. Uh, I definitely want to try to be back out here in January, February, because, uh, guys, I've caught them in the 1st of March, last February and 1st of March, and clean one, and, uh, man, their belly, they're just full of fat, and then by the end of March, 1st of April, you can catch one, clean one, and ain't none on them, so they're got to get January and February, last of December, uh, gets colder, they've got to start feeding a little bit more. So, anyhow, guys, that's a wrap for me and O-Wiz. Stay tuned, and we'll catch you on the water here again. Just